Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. I haven't made any videos because I'm lazy. Um, I'm just gonna put a making a quick review for Dying Light 2. Lots of people have some strong opinions on this game, and lots of people love it. You either love it or you hate it. Uh, I'm one of those people that is actually really, really enjoying it. I think it's a great game and an amazing sequel. But it does obviously have some downsides and some downgrades from the original game. And uh, we're gonna, I'm going to talk about that real quick. Um, I put it into sections. First is physics, second will be movement, third will be combat. So f the biggest issue I have to get with the game is the combat and how it's not as satisfying as the first game. It feels like the combat is much more downgraded than the first game. Everything feels like everything is just an animation. It used to like fluidly switch between animation and physics in the first game, but in this it feels like it's just all animation. Um, like drop kicking an enemy, it looks it's it has to that that is most of it is an animation. Um, hitting an enemy can with blunt weapons hitting an enemy will go into physics, and that is the most the most I've seen of physics in this game actually. But kicking an enemy or like trying to push them over, it'll always go into an animation. And some biggest things I problems I have is grappling or kicking someone into a wall won't push them over. It'll just bump. It'll just play an animation of them bumping into the wall. See, and um, them climbing onto cars. In the first game, if they climbed onto a car and you kick them off, they'd ragdoll off. Or if they'd climb onto something and they if they fell off something, they would just ragdoll off, and it would look pretty realistic. But in this game, it feels like there's much more animations and generic animations than there is physics. So that's my biggest problem with the game. I'm kind of just ranting, but uh, that is why it's a quick, quick review. Second is the movement, I think. The movement is really good. It is, in my opinion, an amazing and definitely better than experience than the first game. The Jumping, uh, transitions between jumping and running and climbing just feels like super fluid and it's really satisfying to just climb on the tallest buildings and running around. The grappling hook is really good and I think it's a massive improvement from the first game where it was a god, a god tier, like overpowered tool, but in this game it feels balanced and you need to use it, use it in specific situations, you can't just use it to get across the map as fast as possible. The game really wants you to run and use parkour skills to get everywhere. Um, yeah, so I don't actually have, like, any problems with the movement at all, except for the tiny bit of floatiness there is to the jumping the, 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 compared to the first game, where you feel like you're kind of, there's lower gravity. In the first game it felt like falling was dangerous and there was an impact of falling like you because you were falling really fast but in this game it feels like you're falling you fall slower because of the uh, physics work I think yeah the combat is a mixed bag for me the um, the blocking and fighting humans is so fun and I think it's a massive improvement from the first game being, being able to dodge and to block and to do combos and parry is such a big improvement from just like spam attacking enemies in the first game. But the the gore and physics for fighting is are just like slightly disappointing from the first. In the first, there was lots of physics and incorporated, and the gore I feel is a somewhat in some areas is a massive downgrade. Like, the first game had dynamic blood pools where, um, blood pools would follow them where they went, and the blood spurts seemed to land nowhere. They seemed to just, like, kind of go through the ground, which I have a... It's just, like, super unsatisfying to see that there's no impact, and sometimes you'll, you'll fight enemies and there won't be any marks or, like, any, like, appearance that they've been attacked. It just looks kind of like they're a ragdoll now. So, I feel like they should definitely improve on the physics and blood, or gore effects, 
that is most of my problems with the game. Um, the story, I actually have no problem with. I might just be like, I just might have a terrible opinion on writing, but I actually enjoy, I'm actually enjoying the story so far. I haven't finished it since I've been doing lots of the roaming around the map stuff, which is, I think, much more fun than the story. Uh, just doing side quests and stuff is just fun and rewarding. But the, the main story isn't actually a problem for me. It isn't a major improvement from the first game story, obviously, because the first game never had a strong story. But the story in this seems pretty acceptable and um, is actually slightly good in some areas. Some characters are it, characters come in a mixed bag of either really good or really bad. Some characters are just like so annoying you just never want to talk to them again, while others can be like really lovable but like quickly die. I'm not gonna spoil anything, so don't worry. Um, yeah, I have no problems with the story at all, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much my review. Everything besides the combat and physics, not the combat, the, the gore and physics seem like a major improvement and I'm really enjoying my time with Dying Light 2. Um, if you don't like the game, that's cool. Uh, I'm just putting out my opinion, so unless you like attack me personally for my opinion, then everything's fine, I guess. Yeah, so just um, if you're enjoying the game, good for you. If you, if you don't like the game, that's your opinion, and I respect it. But I'm having a really good time, and uh, yeah, that's my quick review of the game. I might do a more in-depth review, but I hope they add more updates soon that'll improve the game quality of life updates, like the community, the first community update that was just added, which improved a lot of things, especially some of the physics stuff. Um, I don't like the new E3 filter, I think it's just too grey, in my opinion. I actually kind of like the more vibrant colours they went for, that's just my opinion. I'm just rambling on now, so I should finish up. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I made a video, so... Yeah, um, see you guys. Uh, I will make another video soon, probably, maybe. Uh, count to a hundred years, and I might make one. So yeah.